In our last video, I shared five essential items you must have before getting your new puppy. Those items are crate, dog food, footballs, harness, collar, and leash, and toys. If you missed that video, no worries. I'm listing it down below in the description box for you to check out. In this video, I'm expanding the list to some nice to have items. It means those items will make your life easier, but you can still live without it. All items in this video, I also include them in the description box below. So go ahead and check them out. Now, without further ado, let's get right to it. Bedding blanket towels. Those are some things that are soft and your dog can sleep on. If you do not have a budget for a dog bed, an old t-shirt and some blanket can work just fine. Your old t-shirt has your scent on it, so it will make your dog feel safe even when you're not around. The truth is, most good-looking dog bed is really more for a human. For your dog, he would be happy to sleep anywhere as long as he's close to you. Treats Treats are a great tool for you to use for training. There are literally thousands of options for you. When selecting treats for your dog, look at the ingredients closely and make sure you know what you're feeding your dog. I would recommend you opt for a more natural, simple ingredient treat, like beef liver is one that we have been using. You can also use dog-friendly fruits and veggie, like cucumber, carrots, blueberries, yogurt, peanut butter, and cheese are just some examples that Jimmy loves. Poop bag. Be a good citizen to pick up his poop every time he pooped outside. Any bag will work, and if you want to do good for the environment, there are also biodegradable poop bags options as well. Toys. More toys. I know I listed this in the other essential video already, but toys are just so important for your new puppy to keep it entertained and engaged. Using toys as a tool to play and build bond with your new best friend. Every dog is unique. So I encourage you to try out different types of toys. Jimmy especially loves squeaky toys. Personally, I recommend you get him something that you can play with him, but also toys that will keep him entertained even when you're not around, like comb toy. That is one of the few toys we have since Jimmy was a puppy, and we still use it up till today. Clicker. Clicker is something you might want to consider for training purpose. It makes a click sound, so you can use it as a signal for your dog when he does something good. The challenge for us to use a clicker is that you need to have it with you all the time in order to make it consistent. Without the clicker, you can always verbally tell him good boy or praise him will have similar effect as well. Brush. This is something you will need as your dog mature. Shiba Inu does shed, and during shedding season, you should brush him frequently. Our brush has a self-cleaning function, and we got it from Mud Bay. I include a similar product option down below for your reference. Shampoo. At some point, you will need to bathe your dog. It is not recommend to bathe your dog too often. We wash Jimmy roughly once every three months. When selecting shampoo, make sure you pick one that is designed for dogs without any perfume, as it could be too strong for your dog. We have been using an old shampoo, and Jimmy seems to like it. The link is listed down below for you to check out. Just like human, 
Your dog will have medical needs from time to time, so we do have some staples at home, just in case Jimmy needs it. Neosporin. Yes, your dog can use Neosporin, and it is safe to use when he has small wounds or cuts. The only thing you should watch out for is after you apply, you should make sure he cannot lick or reach the wound. In order to prevent him licking, this brings us to the next item: soft comb. During the first year, you probably won't need it until you schedule the neuter appointment with your vet. Typically, the vet will provide you the standard plastic comb they use. I recommend you spend some time to get a good quality and more soft one for your dog. Trust me. You will need a comb more than once in your dog's life, because accident does happen, and when it happens, you will be glad that you are prepared and have the tools to prevent him from further damaging his skin. Hydrocortisone cream. This is an anti-itch cream that is designed for human, but it is also safe to use on your dog. Do keep in mind you always want to consult with your vet if your dog has any skin problems. We use this cream whenever there is an itchy patch on Jimmy. This cream is for use externally only. So once you apply the cream, you should make sure your dog cannot lick it afterwards. Bitter spray. Shake well before use. And spray it on the surface your dog likes to bite. This product works for us in the past when we use it at our cabinet corner or carpet. There are a lot of online reviews says the product does not work with their dogs. So keep that in mind and observe your dog closely if you decide to try out this product. Toothbrush and toothpaste. Your dog's teeth needs to be cleaned regularly. Whether you take him to the vet for teeth cleaning, or you can simply brush his teeth often, there is no set schedule about how often you should brush his teeth. But you should brush it at least once a week, if not more often. Make sure the toothpaste is designed for dogs specifically, because humans' toothpaste. Can be extremely dangerous for your dog. Ear cleaning solution. You likely won't need it until your dog gets older. If your dog's ear is clean and healthy, there is no need to clean it. If it smells weird or looks red, and your dog also shows excessive head shaking, then you should either go to visit the vet. Or use one over-the-counter ear cleaning solution. I do have two options for ear cleaning solution that we use with Jimmy, and I will leave them both down below. Flea and tick medication, deworming medication. These are the things you should discuss with your vet, and you will need prescription for those. I included them here as a reminder. Okay. There are actually a lot of things you need when you have a dog. Now move on to the cleaning category. The first item on the list is vacuum. This goes without saying. If you have a pet in your house, there is going to be fur everywhere, and you need a good vacuum, preferably the ones with different head that you can alternate depends on what surface you're cleaning. Rolling thing. This rolling thing, I don't know the official name, but it helps you to look decent when you need to go out of the house. We all live in the world with a lot of sweatpants and leggings these days, but once in a while, you might want to dress up and look good. Use this rolling stick to clean out all the fur attached on your clothes before you head out. To that important date, meeting, or dinner with friends. 
enzyme cleaner. This is something we used to use when Jimmy was young. When you have a puppy, accident happens, and if you have carpet, it is really hard to remove the smell completely. We got this enzyme cleaner to clean up whenever there is an accident. It is also important to remove the smell completely, so your puppy won't pee on the same spot next time. This enzyme cleaner is also suitable for cats as well. This end up to be a much longer list than I anticipate, but hey, you are taking care of a live furball in your home, so yes. There are tools and products that will help you manage the day-to-day -day with your fur friend. If you find this video helpful, remember to give this a thumb up and subscribe to the channel to get all the tips you need to raise a happy dog. The best way to support the channel is to watch another videos listed on the screen. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.